What's up, everyone? Wicked Explorers here. We are at Bear Moose Brewery here in Everett, Massachusetts. Uh, Saturday, we just went to Home Depot. Uh, we had lunch, but we didn't document it at um, Elm Street Tavern in Somerville. So we're having drinks, and this is the start of our week. We have a big weekend coming up here. We uh, did stuff around the house today. Um, we're gonna head back up there in a few minutes, and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff, some of the improvements we're making to the house. Uh, today I installed the gates, and that went pretty good. We'll show you that, and then um, we're gonna do some lights when I go home and some other stuff. So we're gonna do that, and then tomorrow is a big day. So when this video continues, we're gonna be going to Henry's first Celtics game. It's gonna be crazy. Our first hit power on the Celtics from the zero, Jason Tatum. That's his third personal. Everybody, it's ID84, Wicked Explorers. This video is really odd because we started this video a week ago. Um, I was going to the Celtics game, Henry's first Celtics game. That was uh, the fourth, I believe. Um, what's today? Is the twelfth? Probably the eleventh. Subtract seven. Yeah, so the fourth. What's today? The thirteenth, fourteenth, whatever it was. The eleventh, last Saturday, Sunday. Um, of course, the coronavirus crap has been going on. Um, and then, we didn't think much of it. And then, like, Tuesday, the shit started getting real. Um, we went and got supplies. On Tuesday, stores were already almost gone with the stuff we needed. Um, we ordered some stuff. We stashed some stuff away. We, uh... I think we're gonna be okay. I calculate that we have a good amount of formula for the baby. Um, we have a nice game plan set up of what exactly to do if stuff happens. Um, we're working on backup power as we speak. We, uh, we're, we're trying to cover all the bases right now. We're not sure exactly what we have to do or what we need to do, but uh, right now it's Friday. 13th it's 5 30 i'm driving home right now and um, i'm setting up the bunker like we and sue and i discussed how we're going to do this and then uh, we're going to bunk it down um all weekend and i firmly believe from what i've heard is that come monday it's going to be a you know nationwide quarantine to just stay home to not do anything i mean 
fairness enough, I mean, uh, I can do my job from home. Sue, to an extent, can do hers. If we don't have to go anywhere, we're, you know, every weekend we go on an adventure. You've watched this vlog. You've seen it. Every weekend, we're somewhere new. But last weekend, we just went to the Celtics game, which, thinking about it now, I kind of wish I didn't go. Although I think everything is going to be okay. But... Um, yeah, I just I really just don't know right now. So we're gonna go home, bunk. We're just gonna bunk it down all weekend. Fortunately, Sue's been feeling all right. She hasn't been had any symptoms or anything like that. Henry's been all right. I feel fatigued today, but I think it has to do with the lack of sleep all week that I've been getting for the most part. I think that's, I think that's the reason. So tonight, I'm gonna go do some stuff and I'm going to bed. And um, we're going to see what happens in the morning. So I guess we're going to end the video here for today. Um, I want to kind of document some of the stuff we're doing at the home to prep for this. Although, even though it may not be worth the while because this video is probably not coming out until April. Um, but for future events or anything bad that may happen in the future, I should say. This may be helpful. So I want to document some of the procedures we're doing, some of the plans we set up um, in place. Um, obviously, we're not traveling anywhere. We were supposed to leave for Florida uh, for spring training in Disney World a week from to today. Not happening. We canceled the flight. Uh, we can't, we made an executive decision last weekend to 86 uh, Disney altogether and go there later on in the year. Um, in addition to that. Uh, Midweek, we decided just to cancel the trip altogether. We were going to go cancel Florida, but then we were like, maybe go somewhere else, and then we just we opt out. It's not worth taking a little kid on the plane, so we canceled the hotels. We we didn't lose any money, which is good. We have a credit with uh, Southwest we can use for a future flight, but we're not going to Florida. We're not going to spring training. First time I'm missing spring training in about 20 years, but it is what it is. You have to do what you got to do, and they canceled spring training games uh, yesterday, so we wouldn't have been able to go see one anyways if we were down there. Um, we do have a couple trips planned in May, uh, one to Texas and one to Tennessee, and we are watching those very closely because those as well may go into the you know, best as well, so I don't know. We don't know. We're playing it day by day. We're trying to look at a week ahead, see what we got to do. Um, tonight, before we go to sleep, we're going to do some, uh, we have some stuff to look into. Um. But as for supplies, I think we're, I think we got everything we need. I don't, I feel very confident going into the next 60 days. I think for the next 60 days we'll be okay. I don't know. I really don't. I know 30 we will be. We're going to have, we're going to take an inventory tonight. We're going to see what we get going to. You know, if it, go, if it means going down to, you know, two small meals or one big meal and a snack, um, so be it. I I don't eat. I usually have a big lunch. I typically don't have breakfast. I have a big lunch and then usually dinner. And, and my lunch is usually my biggest meal of the day. Um, so for me to kind of weed off of food, you know, it's, I'm gonna be all right. I'll be all right to make do. Um, the little guy, we got his formula, like I said. Um, I was very nervous when I went to Target the other day, and there was only a handful left of the formula, so I got as much as I could get. And as you know, baby formula is very expensive, but we don't want to be in a situation where we can't leave the house and um, we have nothing to feed. Uh, boy, that's all he eats, so we had to do what we had to do, and that's what we did, and we did it. Um, so pulling off my exit now, we... I told Sue to fill her tank with gas. It's another thing you should do in a situation like this because uh, you don't know if, when you're going to be able to get gas again if they close everything down. So it's good to have a full tank in case you have to go somewhere in this emergency. Um, also, things you can think about, you can use your car as a generator if you have an inver in a inverter um, to make power. You can also use to charge your cell phone through the USBs and the cigarette lighters. Um, you can also use it to stay warm, which is... Something that you practice very safely because obviously you do not want to 
start a car in a garage. That is just terrible. Carbon monoxide will kill you. You can stay limited amounts of times in your car idled. Um, although I wouldn't suggest a long period of time. I'd say for some spots because um, carbon monoxide could make its way back into the car. But having your car work, it will give you availability for uh, for heat if you need it, which is something we may need. All right, sorry about that. Just got gas. I am filled up to the rim. Um, like I good gas when I was right now. It's saying I can, my range is going to be. I got like 442 miles um, on this tank, so it's good. So I think we're, we're good. Sue's so doing the same. Um, I have one more planned trip tomorrow where I have to go um, pick up some more supplies. And then we are um, we're good. We're bunkering down. I should be back around 11 in the morning and we'll have everything set up. Um, and then we have another supply shipment coming from another store uh, tomorrow afternoon. And that is the last of the supplies that we are getting. And I think that is what all we need. We, we're doing a piecemeal. We, to, 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 we'll go on to this on another video when we start setting this stuff. Because I, like, I want to share this with everyone because I think this is very important. Yes, maybe the media is throwing this and it's out of control. Perhaps. Perhaps I'm not the demographic that should be worrying about this. I mean, it seems like to be elderly people, which is the case. I'm not doing anything uh, that would not necessarily be done, but I'm just doing it in bulk. For example, we, we got dog food, all right? Dog food comes. I ordered two. Why did I order two? Because we can't go out with dogs and eat. But yes, we could feed them regular food, but why if I can just get two bags, right? And it lasts us two months. Um, for example, today I got wine. I got a wine ship because I like wine. I like a glass of wine at night. I like to relax. Um, and we can't get delivery to the house, so I had to get it delivered to my office. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to get another bottle of wine, so I, I got a bunch. Um, food, we did the same for cans. We did everything we, we would eat. We got a little bit more of because we don't know when, if we're going to be able to go back out, if it happens. Now, if, say, everything's fine, Everything works out, we stay healthy, it doesn't really affect us, it's a lot worse than it seems. Then Sue and I put a lot of money up front that we don't have to spend in the next few months. We got baby formula that doesn't expire for a while. Canned goods good for a couple years. Alcohol that we're gonna use. Um, and items around the house that we might have bought, clean supplies and such that will be used. It will eventually, everything that we bought, not a one single thing we bought um, over the last week and a half, we'll go to waste. Whether we use it during the 60 day, you know, stent that we might be in, 30 days, two weeks, who knows? Or if it's for the next year or two years, we're gonna use it. We're just paying for it for stuff we're gonna use already. And people laugh and they, they say I'm losing my mind and going out of, you know, blowing it out of proportion. But am I really? Think about it. How prepared are you? You know, we don't know what's going to happen. It's an, the uncertainty is what's scary. I like to bring... I was trying to compare it to 9-11 when I was... Um, I was in high school. And the uncertainty level, not the same extent of what's going on. Obviously, that was a completely different event. But more or less the, the unknown. We didn't know what was going to happen. I mean, it's the first time I've seen airlines stop flying and Disney World close and... You know, you couldn't go out. They told us to stay home, you know? And then, you know, you think about stuff like that. Like, we don't know, you know? It's a virus. This is something that can, people can pass to point to point. Knock on wood, everyone's okay. And it's not as bad as we think it is. And that's the only thing we hope for. But that's hope. <laughs> you don't know a fact. You don't know if it's not as not a bad. You don't. You have no idea. All we know is that this has potential to spread and if I could do anything to stop spread singularly and you yourself, then that's what should be done. There's nothing else we could do. And if we, it means be like Italy and close down for 30 days and not leave your house and you know work it through, so be it. And we'll find the results of that in a few days, a few weeks rather. And if that worked, then it was the right thing to do. But. 
you know, I get very, very, very upset. And not that it's my business, but people who are taking it decide this, this so cavalier. We, when major sports events and large gatherings are closing, government's telling you to have supplies. You know, all this stuff is being told to you, and you just cavalier this brushed off like it's the media blowing it out of proportion. I think it's a little irresponsible because the media, but at the same time, they do provide a service and they do give you news, and it, it, they're giving you somewhat accuracy news. Enough to inform you, right? People want to fly airplane. Go flying airplanes. So I want to go flying because the flights are so cheap. Okay, but you may not be able to get back to where you have. First of all, second of all, so you want to risk going on a plane with someone that may have and be on the same plane for three hours, right? Oh, but I'm 19 years old. It's not going to kill me. Yeah, but it's going to make you very sick. And it's not only going to make you very sick. It's going to make you someone who's going to spread it as well. So yeah, you may get sick, survive, but because you got sick. You spread it to whoever the hell you were with, you know? It's just very irresponsible, you know? It's just... I just, I don't know, but... It is something that could be, uh... That should be handled better. But I'll leave you guys with that. We will get into, because we're going to have plenty of time for these home blocks. We'll get into uh, what's going to happen. Um, and how we're prepping, what we prepped, and what we did, and some ideas we have. And then we'll tell you the things that worked and the things that didn't work. And I think that is enough to uh, get us to a situation where if this ever happens again, we're better prepared. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed these vlogs, uh, subscribe. Hit the little alarm button so you get notified every time we have a new one. And stay safe. You know, like I said, this video is coming out probably a month, it's about a month and a half after we filmed it. So hopefully you stayed safe. And hopefully this is over by the time you're watching this video and we can all laugh about it. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click the alarm so wherever you get notification, we get new ones. See you later. Bye.